Hey Killer Off-Road Hobbies fans and YouTubers alike, this is going to be a first look of the Atomic V2 MR dual drive race buggy kit. Now this kit comes uh, for the upgraded version, which is the one I got with uh, carbon fiber upgrades. It comes for $65. I'll put a link in the description below. I first got uh, turned to this thing or notified of it through um, the RC Network channel. So I will put a link to his build video in the uh, description below also. But I have hooked up with a couple guys around here that are wanting to start a race circuit in uh, Northern California where I live. And um, you know, they asked me to be a part of it and I thought that was really awesome. And I do have the Bushmaster, which is a Psycho. I have the, the Hobby King Rattler, which is a, a decent basher buggy. But I wanted something to hopefully be competitive with the guys once I learn how to race, because I've never, ever gone to an RC racetrack of any kind with the intention of actually getting around it as fast as I can without crashing. So we'll see how that goes. That's going to be a whole new learning curve. But this is a first look unboxing of this kit, so let's get into it. Now, like I said, this kit was about $65, and I got it off eBid, which you guys will see in the, in the link to it. And it seems like a decent kit. Um, there were a few complaints from RC Network, but apart from that, you know, uh, it looked like a really solid kit, so I wanted to go ahead and get it. Now, first thing you see is the manual, but I already took it out. I just kind of skimmed through all this stuff. But the body. So it comes with an unfinished, uncut, painted body. And you got your wing in here also. So those will need to be um, cut out. You got your 1 10th scale two-wheel drive chassis right here. And all the bags in this kit and everything are uh, labeled. So... That's one real nice feature that I can already tell is going to be decent. And like I said, this is the upgraded version, so it comes with uh, carbon fiber components. But basically, you just get bags and bags of stuff. You know, uh, we'll go through this more in depth in the actual build video. Now, one negative, I'll just take out one of each. One negative that he pointed out about this kit, which you know it could be a negative you know it I don't think it really matters that much and he didn't either and you can change this but as you can see the wheels do not come with hex um, they just slide on the pins instead of having the hex now you can just put a hex on the pin and put actual uh, wheels with like a 12 millimeter hex on this buggy but you'll have to buy different wheels. And this kit does not come with tires either. I actually ordered a set of tires. I ordered the really super soft, sticky um, front tires because the front and rears are different, as you can see by the width. So I ordered a set of medium grade off-road tires for the rear, and I ordered a set of super soft and sticky front tires. I ordered two sets of front and just one rear to start off with. Now, this does come with a builder's manual. I haven't thumbed, thumbed through it yet, but RC Network uh, said there was a few minor mistakes in here, but uh, all in all, a really good, you know, build manual to help you out. And then you get this pretty cool looking uh, sticker sheet on the back. And the guy that sold this actually gives you, sends you this um, build tips and tricks and uh, he uh, tells you a lot about it he kind of goes through it and uh, tells you what not to use and how everything should be uh, positioned and put together so that is super cool of the seller especially for this kit only costing 65 bucks awesome now I am in this build total right now at $110. That's for the kit, the shipping for the kit. To get to me, which was like $9, I'll just say $10 because I'm just rounding up. So 65 
plus the 10, you know, is 75 bucks. So I'm 75 bucks sitting here with the kit to my house. Now I spent about $40 on tires, um, which I didn't have to spend $40, but I did get two sets of front tires, like I said. So, you know, I'm sitting right around like 110, 115 bucks. And I wanted, as he did, you know, he did this as a uh, cheap race kit build, which is what I'm trying to do. And since I had this stuff, I figured, hey, you know, I'm going to try and keep this thing under $150. So, uh, it depends on how this stuff works out in this kit, but I'm thinking I can actually hit that mark. So what we're, what I'm going to use right out of the gate, let's turn this so I have a little elbow room, is I'm going to use this uh, Hobby Wing 60 amp ESE, which came stock in the, uh, the Rattler. Um, I changed it out right away because it has this bullet plug connector and I don't have any batteries with that plug and I had the same exact ESC but with a T connector on it so I went ahead and I just pulled this out put that other one in and it doesn't make any difference and the whole system's changed out in the Rattler now anyways but uh, this is a good ESC it is 60 amps 2 and 3s capable so it should be plenty for this little two-wheel drive buggy now I'm also going to use the 27 100 kV 3650 motor brushless motor. Now um, I know in race buggies you you should use sensor uh, censored motors, and this is sensorless. And I probably should have a higher kV rating to give it a little more legs with less torque. So, uh, but I have this stuff, so this stuff will get me started, and I can fine tune it from there. Now, if I do need to purchase a, uh, a censored brushless system that is better for this kit, um, the Quick Run Hobby Wings censored system is about $80, which is going to push me up to around $200. But $200 for a race buggy is insanely cheap. Like, really, really cheap. But this will get us started. I have servos. You know, I have receivers and transmitters. I'm just going to hook it up to my FlySky GT3D. So, you know, I have all those tuning options and everything for this stuff. Um, but, yeah, basically that's how it's going to go down for now. Um, like I said, those guys, they want me to be part of their uh, race series they want to start, which I think is super, super awesome. Um, they actually want me to record and post their uh, races on my channel, which I think is super, super awesome. You know, they're not paying me or anything like that. They're just, you know, let me be a part of it and, you know, I'm going to post it on my channel and everything. And I'm at, last time I looked, I was at uh, 514 subscribers. So thank all of you so much for being a part of Killer Offroad Hobbies and everybody that watches my videos on YouTube, thank you guys too. It means the world to me, it really does. And I appreciate every single view, every subscriber, every thumbs up, every thumbs down, everything you guys. It just helps me, you know, do this channel as you guys want. So if you'd like, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for this uh, first look at the Atomic V2MR. If you didn't like this video, don't be shy about hitting the thumbs down. I love the feedback, you know. Uh, I'll change stuff if you guys want to. And, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe if, if you're new to this channel. And hit that bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much. I'm over the 500 mark. I am so ecstatic. We're over halfway to our next giveaway. So, keep tuning in, guys. This is Killer Offer Hobbies, Gary on the mic, peace.